So uh, this week, we are excited to have uh, Xiaonan Liu from Georgia Tech, us a 12. She'll be telling us about uh, counting Hamiltonian cycles and planar triangulations. So take us away. OK, uh, thanks for the invitation. OK, um, so uh, and thanks for the introduction. So today, I'm going to talk about uh, counting Hamiltonian cycles in planar triangulations. Okay, so um, so first, uh, let's start with uh, the very famous theorem, the four color theorem. It's every planar map is four face colorable. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, uh, it was first proved by Appen and Hacking in 1976, uh, but uh, then in 1997, Robertson, Sanders, Seymour, and Thomas, uh, Thomas gave a complete proof, uh, but it is still computer assisted. Uh, yeah, so um, here, what I want to talk uh, is about the Hamiltonian cycles. So if a planar map has a Hamiltonian cycle, then it can be e easily full face colored. So why do we have this one? Because if a planar map has a Hamiltonian cycle, so actually we can just like draw, oh, sorry, like uh, we, we can fix a drawing such that we have the Hamiltonian cycle here, like, and we have some, uh, yeah, some edges between, uh, between them. So then we can know that actually the graph inside of this, uh, inside of the Hamiltonian cycle, if we consider the dual graph, so we don't have a cycle. Yeah, because we don't have a vertex inside of this uh, uh, inside of this cycle. So the dual graph doesn't contain a cycle. So the dual graph is a tree just inside of the Hamiltonian cycle. So same for the outside, it's also a tree. So we know that we can color the tree with just two colors. So two colors inside and two colors outside. So we can just use at most four colors to uh, color this. Uh, planar map. So this is, uh, we just want to, uh, why do we want to uh, talk, uh, learn the Hamiltonian cycle in the planar graphs? So here, so we just want to find the condition to guarantee that the, the, to guarantee the existence of Hamiltonian cycles in planar graphs. So here are some early results. So Whitney in 1931 showed that the every four connected planar triangulation um, contains a Hamiltonian cycle. So the triangulation means that every face of this planar graph is bounded by a triangle. Okay, uh, it's just a cycle of length three. And also Tat extended this uh, theorem to all four connected planar graphs. Uh, so uh, he showed that every four connected planar graph contains a Hamiltonian cycle. So this is a very classical theorem. So actually this is like the best uh, condition because we can find a three connected uh, planar triangulation that doesn't admit a Hamiltonian cycle. So yeah, we can show, uh, I can give an example like this. Uh, so for example, if we have, well, if we have a triangulation, um, a triangulation on n vertex, on n vertices. So then we know by all our formulas, uh, we know that it has um, a three n minus six edges and a two n minus four faces. So if we insert a vertex in each face, so like uh, here, this is just this graph, uh, this triangulation G. And if we like uh, for each face, we insert a vertex here. So then uh, now for this one, for this new graph to H, uh, we know that the number of vertices of G should just be N plus two N minus four, because we have like uh, this vertex. Uh, yeah, um, but so here, just because the the, verti the vertices we insert actually are uh, form 
unindependent set in H. So if we want to find a cycle in H, uh, actually the length of this cycle can be at most two times, uh, uh, yeah, two, uh, let me see, it just because this, these vertices are independent. So if, if they want to be in a cycle, it can be at most, uh, yeah, actually it's just two n. Does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh, so the, like the length of the cycle in H, uh, for uh, the length of every cycle in H can have, uh, can be at most uh, two times n. Yeah, because, uh, because these are uh, independent. Yeah, if they want to be in a cycle, they must like uh, uh, work like this. So this is the red vertex. Yeah, the red vertex means the insert vertices. So yeah, we, we need to have like a black vertex here. So then we, we can have at most two n uh, vertices in a cycle. Yeah, because the black, like the black vertices means original vertices in G. So the red vertices means the new vertices we add. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so in the graph H, uh, the cycle, yeah, we cannot have a Hamiltonian cycle in H, but H is a triangulation. So it is three connected. Yeah, so yeah, this is the best possible. Um, Okay, so now um, our question is like, uh, what can we say about the number of Hamiltonian cycles in four connected planar triangulations or in four connected planar graphs? Okay, uh, yeah, because now we know that uh, they must exist. Uh, the Hamiltonian cycle must exist in such graphs. Uh, okay, so here actually uh, in 1979, uh, how can we, uh, Schmeichel and Thompson conjectured that if D is a four connected planar triangulation on N vertices, then D has at least two times N minus two times N minus four Hamiltonian cycles with equality if and only if D is a double wheel. Yeah, so this means that uh, this conjecture should like states a lower bound a lower bound on the Hamiltonian cycle on the number of Hamiltonian cycles in four connected planar triangulations, and this lower bound is at, uh, attained by the uh, double wheel. So first, let me just show what is a double wheel. So mean that we have uh, n vertices in a graph. So here we take out what uh, two vertices, and the remaining n minus two ver vertices form a cycle. And we connect this vertex to all cycles, uh, all vertices in, in the cycle. Yeah. Uh, so here, let's just count the um, the number of the Hamiltonian cycles uh, in the double in a double wheel uh, and vertices to show this lower bound. Okay. So here, uh, uh, the number of Hamiltonian cycles. Uh, So actually we have two ways uh, like uh, for the like for this vertex, we can just choose we know that in each Hamiltonian cycle uh, we have two edges incident with one vertex. So here if for this one we choose two uh, just these two vertices are adjacent uh, in this uh, cycle. So then actually we have n minus two choices for this one. But if we choose two adjacent uh, vertices here for the vert vertex in inside, we must choose the, uh, choose like these two vertices must be adjacent uh, in this cycle. Then we can just form a Hamiltonian cycle. Yeah, so for this, for this kind, we have n minus two times n minus three, because like for, for this one, we, we have n minus three, n minus two choices. And for 
uh, the one inside we have n minus three because just we, we cannot choose this one. Yeah, so then, uh, okay. So, and also we can just choose uh, two, like the two edges here, these two vertices are not adjacent uh, in this cycle. So actually then we will only have two directions. So one direction is like, we go from this vertex, uh, uh, not this vertex, vertex, it's just from here and we get here and then like this. So from like the uh, clockwise direction, we have this one and for the, uh, let me use this one. And also we can go from here, uh, let me see. Yeah like this. So we can only have like these two directions if these two, uh, these two vertices are not adjacent in this cycle. Okay, so then here it's like, um, for this, we will just, for this vertex, we will have like uh, N minus two, choose two, just all pairs, but we need to uh, subtract, uh, yeah, subtract the, uh, like the pairs, are adjacent here. So we have like n minus two pairs here. Uh, yeah, we have, so this means that the pairs of vertices that are not adjacent on that cycle. And we use this one times two because we have two directions. Yeah, so just, uh, yeah. If we simplify this one, we will get, it should just be, uh, this is n minus two times n minus three. Uh, yeah, and this one minus n minus two. Uh, yeah, and then we get n minus two, or oh, this is minus two times two n minus six minus two. So yeah, we take out two, we get two times n minus two, n minus four. Okay, yeah, so this is just, uh, uh, yeah, the exact number of Hamiltonian cycles in, the, in a double wheel on n vertices. So any questions so far? Okay, so um, yeah. So then in the same paper, actually uh, they showed that uh, every four connected and vertex planar triangulations has at least n over uh, log two n Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, so the conjecture bound is uh, a quadratic bound, but they showed uh, n over log n like this. And also uh, in uh, 1999, so um, Boim, Herons, and Tuck show that every five connected n vertex planar triangulation D. So yeah, so for five connect, it's just if we improve the connect uh, connectivity of the graph, actually D can, uh, the lower bound for the uh, Hamiltonian cycle should just be the exponential and it's two to the uh, omega uh, n to the one over four. So this is a lot, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but for recently, uh, we have a lot of work uh, about, uh, a lot of related work about this one. So Alamdi, Eldred and Thompson show that every five connected and vertex planar triangulation G actually, yeah, they improved the previous bound two to the omega n to the one over four to two to the omega n. Yeah, so the exponential bound. And also Brickman, um, Van Klimput Klimp, showed that four connected planar graphs have at least a linear bound, a linear number of Hamiltonian cycles. So uh, we know, so in the conjecture, uh, we conjecture the conjectures of four connected planar triangulations uh, have like the omega n squared Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, so here they showed that four connected planar graphs, yeah, this is not triangulation, have at least a linear number, it's just uh, something C times n uh, Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, and they use, a, uh, they use an idea uh, about the counting base. Yeah. So uh, now let's consider like, if let's consider the re results on the four connected planar triangulations 
um, and vertices. Yeah, so here. Okay, uh, yeah, this one is just, um, so yeah, previous, so they use uh, like the same method, the counting base. They show that the D has at least um, 12, yeah, this is also a linear bound, 12 times n minus two over five Hamiltonian cycles. Uh, yeah, uh, then, so uh, low showed that, so here it's like, uh, low showed that D ha has omega n over log n squared Hamiltonian cycles if D has a big O log n separating four triangles four triangles. So this means the separating four triangles mean that, so in the planar graph, we know that if we have a, a in planar triangulations, if we have a cut, actually this cut will just form a cycle. Means that here is like, this is a four cycle. Yeah, so this four vertex will just like bound uh, something, uh, yeah, the, something inside and something outside. Yeah, so from here it's like uh, this, we have some restrictions on the uh, uh, on this triangulation. It's like if it has a fewer separating four cycles, so it's kind of like a relax a, a relaxing of the um, uh, five connectivity like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then uh, so. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I and my advisor showed that the D has, um, so I just, we just improved the loss result and we showed, oh, I forget, sorry, I forgot to mention that this is a joint work with uh, Zhi Yu Wang and Xin Xin Yu, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so improved loss work, uh, we just um, like, uh, we show that D has omega n squared Hamiltonian cycles. So uh, if D has big O n over log two. Uh -huh. <laughs> Should I, why, why do, uh, so I have. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. You were always presenting to me, but never like that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so here's like, uh, yeah, so it's just uh, this bound, the omega n squared is the conjecture bound, but here we have some restrictions on G. And also we show this, this result is G has two to the omega n to the one over four Hamiltonian cycles if G has minimum degree five. Yeah, so this is just uh, like, because here we assume G is four connected and we know five connected planar triangulations have, have have a lot of Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, actually there's just some, uh, yeah, relaxing of the five connectivity. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and also Lo and Qian recently showed that uh, G has two, actually G has exponential like Hamiltonian cycles if G has big O of N separating four cycles. Yeah, actually this result improved our previous result. Yeah, okay. So uh, uh, now, yeah, so here uh, we just, uh, so it's just, uh, we just confirmed the conjecture we, I, we mentioned uh, asymptotically. We showed that if G is a four connected planar triangulation on uh, vertices, uh, then D has at least C times N squared Hamiltonian cycles, uh, where C is just this constant, yeah, it's uh, less than one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks ugly, but yeah, it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, actually the, this, this doesn't matter just because we just want this N squared, yeah. Okay, and also in our paper, we showed another result, but maybe today I don't have time to talk about talk more about this one. So we also show that it's like, uh, there exists a constant C greater than zero such that for any four connected planar triangulation uh, and vertices in which the distance between any two vertices of degree four is at least three. So G has at least two to the C times N 
to the one over four Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, so this one is just, uh, so previously we showed that if G has minimum degree five, then G has at least two to the omega n to the one over four Hamiltonian cycles. So here we just like, uh, put, like make the condition be the, uh, like any vertices of degree four, uh, the, the distance between any two vertices of degree four is at least three. So this is better than the pre previous one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so then uh, next, I will just talk about how we prove uh, the first theorem. Yeah. Mm, so uh, actually our idea is just, we just, apply induction on the number of vertices uh, of G. So, um, so how do we uh, show that? It's like, first, we just assume that uh, any two vertices of degree four G in G are not adjacent. Uh, if they are adjacent, we just want to apply induction. Okay, because here, this is a good thing. It's like, if we have two, uh, vertices of degree four and they are adjacent in the graph G. So if we contract this edge UV and let this new vertex be U star, we know that this vertex is still a four connected. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it's just because if we assume that the number of vertices uh, is large enough, uh, then we know that the new graph is still a four connected planar triangulation. So then by induction, we know that for this new graph, we have C, like C times N minus one squared Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, and if we have this one, so it's just, uh, if we have like, so for any Hamiltonian cycle in this new graph, we can modify this cycle to be a Hamiltonian cycle in the uh, original graph. For example, if we do that, if the two edges inc incident with U star are these two edges. So in the original graph, we can like do this. Okay, if, if it's just like this, we can actually, we can have two ways to, to do this. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, we can also like go this way. Yeah, so yeah, then if we just apply induction, then we know that we have uh, C times N minus one square, squared uh, Hamiltonian cycles in the original wall. Okay, but uh, to get the uh, quadratic bound, we also need like a linear bound, like, uh, like uh, C one times N to get uh, to, yeah, we want this like C1 times N, like the new Hamiltonian cycles, then we can show this. So how can we get this one? Because we just found that if we just do, uh, if we modify the cycles in the new uh, graph, we just find all cycles in the original graph will pass, pass the UV edge, this edge. So now if we want the, if, if we want, uh, the C1 times N new cycles. So, so we, we just consider, maybe we can consider the Hamiltonian cycles in, the, in this graph that doesn't use the edge UV. So then we just consider, oh, now just here, maybe we can just use these two edges because if a Hamiltonian cycle use these two edges, then we know it cannot use U, the edge UV because otherwise we have a, cycle, a, a triangle um, on this Hamiltonian cycle. So, oh, so we can use this one or like use these two edges. Yeah, like this, because uh, the, if the Hamiltonian cycle uh, go, through, go through the two red edges or the two green edges, it won't use the edge UV. So then we, we just think maybe we can show that if uh, if the uh, if the Hamiltonian cycles through this two edge, the number of the Hamiltonian cycles through this two edge is linear in N, then we are good. Or it's at least linear in N, then we are good. So here we just want to show uh, these two things. 
so the the two things like uh, this is just what we want uh, to show is just just on uh, vertices, yeah, the linear bound is just uh, through any two edges e one e two in a given triangle of G. Yeah, so here because here's like you want like the uh, the uh, the number of the Hamiltonian cycles passing through these two edges uh, is at least linear in N. So this is what we want to show first. Yeah. Uh, and the second one is just, uh, we want to show that, uh, because now if we can assume that uh, G doesn't have two adjacent degree four vertices, uh, the remaining graph is just uh, in which any two degree four vertices are not adjacent. Yeah, we just need to show such graph, such planar triangulations uh, should, should have uh, at least a quadratic bound Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, so because this one is better because uh, here, if we assume that uh, we have a four connected planar triangulation and any two degree four vertices are not adjacent in this graph. So actually it's kind of like, like to make, uh, to make it, uh, to make this four connect, uh, four connect graph uh, like a five connected graph. Yeah, like that. Okay. So uh, here, first, uh, we just consider the case that the two vertices of degree four are not adjacent. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this is just, uh, this, this result comes from, um, comes from uh, two results uh, in our previous paper. So maybe let first just, uh, let me just show you this one. It's like, um, here's like, because we know uh, so why do we consider this one? It's like, we know that if G has fewer separating four tri triangles, it, it will have a lot of Hamiltonian cycles. So we will consider like the separating triangle, uh, separating four cycle in the four connected planar triangulation. And we want to analyze the structure uh, inside of this separating four triangle. Yeah. So here, the first result is like, uh, this is let G be a near triangulation without cycle, uh, say UV. Yeah, it's like this one. So the outer, uh, the near triangulation mean that, so all faces except, except the possibly the outer face are bounded by a triangle. Yeah, so here you can, we can see that all faces here uh, are bounded by a triangle, just the outer face the infinite phase is bounded by uh, a cycle of less four. So here we just consider like the Hamiltonian path between any two vertices here. Uh, for the, this lemma, we consider that these two verte vertex are not adjacent in this four cycle. So we get like um, if G minus Vx. So here it, we, we want to say the Hamiltonian the number of the Hamiltonian paths between U and V in G minus V and X. So we, 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 we get this con uh, conclusion that the G minus VX, either it has at least two Hamiltonian cycles between U and V, like we can have find two Hamiltonian paths between U and V. Or G minus VX is a path, just like a path U uh, between U and V. Uh, yeah, so here then we know that all vert vertex vertices on this path just inside should have degree four. Yeah, so this is just for two vertex vertices on this cycle which are not adjacent. So here, and we also consider like if we have, uh, if we consider like two adjacent vertices uh, on this cycle, we get U and X. Um, so here we, we want to uh, say, the Hamiltonian cycle between U and X in G minus V and W. So here it's like, we also get like the, a similar conclusion. It's like G minus V W has at le least two Hamiltonian paths between U and X. Or G minus V W is an outer planar near triangulation. Yeah, so the, what does this mean? It's like, if we delete V and W, the remaining graph is 
uh, outer planar triangulation is just all vertices uh, on the outer uh, on the outer cycle here. Yeah, and if we observe that, we find we actually have two uh, vertices of degree four that are adjacent. Yeah, so these two vertices have degree four and they are adjacent. Uh, if we only have one unique Hamiltonian cycle between uh, U and X in D minus V uh, W. Yeah, so uh, why do we want to do this is like, we also want to uh, apply induction because if we, now if we consider the case that in which any two uh, degree four vertices are not adjacent, and if we have a separating tr four triangle such that the interior is not is not that uh, uh, large, it just uh, the the interior has like uh, uh, has some vertices which is not yeah the number of the vertices in inside of this separating triangle se separating four cycle is not that um, many. Then we we can just do the Con contracts the interior, just contract the, the interior to one vertex and then apply induction. Because we know that if we contract the interior to one vertex, the, the remaining graph, the new graph is still for connected uh, planar triangulation and it uh, admits a Hamiltonian cycle. So then we know that uh, Oh, sorry. We should like we, we just use the, the induction. Maybe let me first like if I assume that the, the interior has at most n over four vertices. Okay, so if we uh count and then we apply induction, then we know that uh it has say oh sorry um uh, like say times um uh n um like n over uh, three n over four square uh Hamiltonian cycles. Yeah, because it's like the interior, the number of the vertices inside of this cycle is uh at most n over four. And then we after uh yeah, after just contract this uh, the interior, and we get this is the number. Uh, the lower is like it has at least a c times three n over four squared Hamiltonian cycles uh, in this new graph, and we can just like modify because any just any two any Hamiltonian cycle we have like two edges um, incident with this uh, contract uh, vertex. So this means that so for example if u v w x so this means like in the original graph, we need to find um, a Hamiltonian cycle, or a Hamiltonian path between U and V uh, in this graph minus v, v, uh, Wx, just in the original graph, because we contract the interior. So if to, uh, we, we want to modify this cycle to be a Hamiltonian cycle in the original uh, graph, so this is just, uh, we want to uh, just to find, yeah, like this, find a Hamiltonian cycle in UV, uh, uh, in, uh, bet between U and V in D minus WX. Okay, so here, because here we are in the case that G uh, doesn't has two uh, adjacent degree four vertices. So we know that for each such separating four, cycle, actually we will have four, oh, sorry, have two, at least two distinct Hamiltonian cycles, a Hamiltonian paths between U and V in this subgraph. Okay, so now then we just uh, multiply this one by two. So this is the number of the Hamiltonian cycles uh, in the uh, new, new graph. Yeah, so here we just get two times yeah, so here is just two times nine over 16, so which is greater than uh, one. So, and then we are done. So here, now we just want 
if we want to do this one, so it's like we need to find like a separating uh, full cycle in this graph and the, the number of the vertices inside of that cycle should be uh, uh, less than an over four. Yeah, like that. Okay, so to get this one, so we, we just um, analyze this. So this is about, um, so here we let D be a full connected planar triangulation on M vertices let I be an independent vertex. So this is just mean that actually here's like uh, either we can have like in this graph, either we can have like V and X such that they have a lot of common neighbors in, in the graph. Or there is a subset as, uh, so this is an independent set such that it has uh, the large size and it saturates no four cycle, five cycle or diamond six cycle. Yeah, we haven't defined this, but we just need to remember these are some good properties for this uh, for this independent set. So here is just either we can get a large double wheel structure. So if we have this one, yeah, all a large good independent set. So if we have this one mean that we have a lot of separating four triangles. And here we, we assume that no degree four verte vertex, uh, no degree four vertices are adjacent. Then we know they are not just a trivial uh, four, degree four vertex. We have something here. And yeah, if we have a lot of uh, such separating four cycles, uh, then by pigeonhole principle, we know that we have a separating four cycle. Uh, which in which the inside the number of the inside vertices is not that many. Yeah, so it's just kind of so here. Then we just need to know like here we have a an independent set, uh, which has a lot of good properties. Yeah, maybe I, I don't think I have time to to. Uh, yeah, but maybe so here let's just. Um, so here's just, so an independent set um, saturates a four cycle or five cycle uh, in D if uh, this uh, independence as intersecting, they say, uh, the, the size of this one is two. Uh, and a set as saturates a diamond six cycle D, uh, so this is a diamond six cycle, uh, if S cont contains exactly three, crucial vertices of D. Yeah, so this is the definition mean if S saturates, like if S saturates a four cycle or five cycle, so mean that we have two uh, vert vertices on this cycle. Like this, yeah, we can have, actually we can have at most two vertices. So now just remember that we get, so here's like this, the independent set we get here, set here is no four cycle, no five cycle or diamond six cycle. So yeah, so this means, actually that means very good because it's like in each four cycle, we can have at most one vertex uh, in that independent set. Okay, so then here, yeah, we just define th this one because we want to use this good independent set to find many, many uh, distinct Hamiltonian cycles. So here, so we just consider uh, because the independent set consists of vertices of a degree at most six. So here we deal with uh, uh, this vertex according to their degree. It's like if uh, you, has degree four, we denote uh, this four edges uh, as the link of this vertex. And if U has degree five or six, we denote this, oh, sorry, we denote the edge uh, such that E is incident with U and T minus E is four connected. If, yeah, like this. So here, for example, here for this edge, if we delete this blue edge. So this 
three vertex will just we have something here. The three vertex will just be a three card. So it is not four connected. So this blue edge is not in AO. So what we want to show is like um we we want to delete some edges uh from uh for each um for each vertex from AU and then as the remaining graph is still four connected because we know four connected has uh four connected four connected planar graphs uh have a have having have a Hamiltonian cycle. Yeah. So here uh yeah we just show yeah this is uh we just showed that uh if D is a four connected planar triangulation and uh so here it's like yeah this is just um no degree four vertex of d yeah this actually yeah this is stronger but uh, in the it's just under the condition mean that we can for uh if we find a uh, an uh, independent set saturating no four cycle or five cycle or diamond six cycle in g uh if we delete uh, an edge from a u for each u the remaining graph is still for connected yep and we want to use this this property to find uh, many distinct uh hamiltonian cycles yeah uh so any questions so far okay so then yeah this is this is something about path paths and cycles so we actually we use this to help uh, help us to find the distinct uh, uh, Hamiltonian cycles uh, in uh, the four connected planar triangulations. So here, it's like, um, yeah, we can just talk about this. This is just um, so G is a graph and H is a subgraph of G. So an H bridge of G is a so here. We can consider G as the whole graph, and we have a subgraph H. So the uh, H bridge is a subgraph of G indu induced by either an uh, H in like this. So this edge is in e, is in G, but not in H. But the both incident vertices are in the H. So this is a uh, an bridge. Is a bridge, a H bridge, uh, and also like if something outside of G, and we have something like the incident vertex here. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, the whole green thing is uh, uh is also an H bridge of G. So here, uh, and the. For an H bridge B of G, the attachments of B on H are the vertices in VB intersecting H. So here's like uh, for the red bridge, we have like two, for this bridge, we have two attachments because the intersection has two vertices. For the green bridge, we have like three uh, vertices. Uh, yeah, so the, the attachment, we have three vertices in the attachment. Okay, yeah. Uh, so here, this so the uh, this is something about the third path and third cycle. So a path or cycle p, uh, in D is called a third path or third cycle if every p bridge of D has at most three attachments on p. Yeah. So here's like if D is a planar graph, and we consider a p bridge. Uh, uh, yeah. So P is a path or cycle. So here, uh, if it is a third path, mean that all other, all the bridge, other P bridges has at most three attachments on P. Yeah. So what do we want to say this one? Because we want to like uh, to show that in the four connected planar triangulation, the third path or third cycle is a Hamiltonian. Pass or a Hamiltonian cycle in G, because if it is not a, a Hamiltonian cycle, we have something outside uh, of this pass or cycle. Uh, it's just something non-trivial, and it has at most three 
attachments. So this is just uh, because the graph is full connected. So this is not cracked. Yeah. So then we show, yeah, we just want to show that uh, this pass or cycle should be Hamiltonian. Yeah, just like this one. Yeah, and also th this is just, um, so it's like if P is a hard pass or cycle in D uh, such that uh, every P bridge. So here's like, we have a new subgraph. It's like C. Uh, so if this P bridge contains an edge of this subgraph C uh, and this bridge will just has at most two attachments on P, then P is called a C hard pass or C hard uh, cycle in G. Yeah, so this is just for tad pass or tad cycle, we can have at most three attachments. But so here we can just uh, understand it like uh, if this bridge contains an edge of some subgraph C, uh, it can have at most two attachments on P, not at most three. Okay, so yeah, so here. Yeah, so here actually we have a theorem about the, uh, so Thompson showed that if D is a two connected plane graph and say B is out of cycle and X in VC, Y in VG set minus X and E in VC, then D has a C tad pass P between uh, X and Y such that E is in this, uh, uh, in this pass. So actually here, this the theorem, it just, um, so we can from the, actually this, the theorem show that uh, for every four connected planar triangulation, or maybe for every four connected graph, uh, we can find a path, uh, we can find a Hamiltonian cycle uh, passing through any two edges in this, yeah, let, let me show this one. So it's like, if we have like D four connected planner, yeah, and uh, we have an outer cycle here. Yeah, maybe C, and this is just, uh, we find, uh, so if we want to just fix two edges, E and another, Another one, maybe this is E1. So, uh, okay, let me just. And uh, another edge F. So here's like, we can just, um, so for this F, maybe we can just delete this, uh, no. Like, yeah, so it's just, yeah, it's like we can, uh, oh, no, sorry. Let me just, so yeah, it's like we, we fix two edges, E and F. So here, uh, yeah, so here I just want to show there exists a Hamiltonian cycle in this graph um, passing through the edges F and E. So here, if I choose uh, E is in E C and um, let me see. Oh, okay. So yeah, so for this edge, we can just find this is uh, X. Yeah, one is X and another is a uh, Y. So we can find a Hamlet, uh, a tad pass between X and Y uh, passing through, sorry, it's just passing through E uh, and Y such that uh, X and Y, uh, yeah, it's just, we have a, yeah. So here we have the condition that E and F are cofacial. Yeah, so we choose, uh, yeah, this is the C. So uh, X is in uh, the C and Y is a distinct vertex from X. So here we have a part, a tad pass from X to Y passing through uh, E. So, and we know that since G is four connected, so this pass should be Hamiltonian pass. So, and if we add this edge, 
So we know that it should be a Hamiltonian cycle and it passing through E and F like this. So uh, yeah, then, yeah, we use a lemma from J uh, Jackson and E is about the uh, path cycle. So what we want to use is just, we want to uh, count the, we want to find the Hamiltonian cycles passing through specific edges here. Yeah, the main idea is just this one. Yeah, so, mm, okay. So the proof sketch, yeah, we have talked a, a lot about the proof sketch. So here's just, I want to uh, tell you like, um, yeah, so he, we, we apply induction of the number of vertices at first. Uh, yeah, so this one is about the, we showed that uh, the number of Hamiltonian cycle, so every four connected planar triangulation on uh, n vertices has omega n Hamiltonian cycles through any edges uh, E1, E2 in a given triangle of D. So uh, yeah, yeah, this is just, uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's just, it's same, it's similar to the proof we did for the quadratic bound. So we just apply induction on the number of vertices. Uh, yeah, and uh, then we assume that no degree uh, four vertices are adjacent. Uh, and then for that part, and we, uh, uh, and then we assume that we, we, we can find an, a good independent set of uh, large size. And we use this uh, good independent set to find a linear bound, uh, yeah, a linear bound Hamiltonian cycle through these two edges. Yeah, so same, this is, um, yeah, this is the same for the quadratic bound. Yeah, it's just a similar proof sketch. It's like, uh, yeah, we apply induction as a number, assume no two vertices of degree four are not are adjacent, and either it contains a separating triangle whose interior has at least two, but at most n over four vertices, or G has a large independent uh, set with good properties, and we use this S to find quadratic bound for Hamiltonian cycles. Okay, so last, let's just um, give some open problems. Yeah, so now the conjecture, the exact bound is still open. So yeah, also we uh, confirm this one asymptotically, but this exact bound is still open. Okay, and then the next one is like, maybe we can extend this result to graphs on surface uh, surfaces of higher genius. And also uh, maybe we can have some questions on the uh, upper bounds on the number of Hamiltonian cycles in n vertex planar triangulations. Yeah, so because before we just talk, uh, talk about the lower bound on the number of Hamiltonian cycles in four connected planar triangulation. Yeah, so here, so what about the upper bound? Okay, so yeah, thank you, that's, that's all. Yeah, sorry that, yeah. All right, everybody, let's, uh, thanks, John. <laughs> And uh, are there any questions for our speaker? So do you, do you have any conjecture which four yeah, connected okay. planar triangulations may have the largest number of Hamiltonian cycles? Oh, hang on. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Laszlo. Let me get to you in a second. Uh, Lincoln, uh, I had you muted for a second. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Lincoln. <laughs> sorry. The last question. So, do you have any idea which yeah. four so connected planar triangulation may produce the largest number of Hamiltonian cycles? No, no. Now we just know the lower bound for five connected planar triangulations is exponential two to the c times n. Yeah, but we don't know the yeah. upper bound. Yeah, and we don't, yeah, maybe we. At, it, it, it's possible that it's like bigger than the exponential. Uh, I guess maybe we could have. So, okay. but maybe that's not correct. Actually, I guess it could be into the n, into the c okay. times n like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I don't find 
at the extreme of wealth. <laughs> I'm asking about a graph, not a number. Uh, sorry, uh, that was that was Lincoln's question that she was answering. Um, can you phrase your question again? So, which four connected uh, planar triangulation has the largest number of Hamiltonian cycles? Oh, I think that was the same. Was that the same question? Oh, I did yeah. not hear the other question. But for the other question, the answer was a number. My question is a graph. Which connected graph? Yeah, we, we don't have. Uh, okay, let me ask it to you. Oh, here we go. So the chat says, Leslie, no. do you have any idea about the structures about the graphs that have the largest number of Hamiltonian structures, uh, Hamiltonian cycles? No. No, now I have no idea. So we had a recent paper on the minimum and maximum num minimum and maximum of Wiener index in say four connected planar triangulations. We did it in several graphs. And the double wheel was the minimizer, and we have a conjectured maximizer. And our conjectured maximizer may be your maximizer as well. But this is kind of hard to count Hamiltonian cycles, even in small examples. Oh. So we don't know what the best one is. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So can you just tell us your construction? <laughs> no. It's in paint. It's in the paper. Oh, it's in the paper. It says it's in print. Oh, okay. Well, I will just read it there. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, that was a little bit uh, hectic there. Um, are there any other questions for Xiao Yan? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, if there, if there are no other questions um, immediately, uh, let's thank our speaker one more time. <laughs> and, uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out and uh, have a good weekend.